So it is quickly becoming illegal to point out that men are not women, no matter how they dress, no matter what kind of shoes they have, no matter what they paint their nails. So this is an attack not just on biology, but on speech, on conscience. You're not allowed to say obvious things. Here's an example. A self-described feminist in Norway called Christina Ellingsen is facing a three-year sentence in prison. She's facing the possibility of going to jail for years because she affirmed the reality of biological sex. Specifically, Ellingsen tweeted that men cannot be lesbians. You probably never thought about this in any depth, but it's technically true. She also said that men cannot become mothers. Now, again, that's true. But in Norway, as in all of the West, the truth is no longer a defense. Norway is now investigating her for hate speech. We, of course, immediately wanted to talk to her. Christina Ellingsen joins us tonight. Christina, thanks so much for coming on. This is one of those stories, and Norway is obviously a highly civilized country. I think it's the richest country in the world. A lot of great people in Norway. It's hard to believe this is real, and so I just want to check. Are we leaving anything out? No, that's right. This is the case. Uh, I've been, uh, well, you can't have, you can't defend women if you can't define what a woman is. Uh, and all over the world, stating biological facts uh, is considered by a lot of groups as being directly hateful. So, yeah, this is um, what I've been doing. I've been stating the obvious fact that men cannot be women, uh, men cannot be girls yes. or mothers or lesbian. And now I'm uh, facing the risk of three years in prison. T tell me how the country of Norway, again, a country to which we give every benefit of every doubt, filled with good people, beautiful place. But are you celebrated as a hero by people who still believe in science and free speech? Are people supporting you? Uh, well, a lot of people are supporting me uh, across the entire spectrum uh, of political, religious, everything. But a lot of people are also considering me on level with uh, someone who's calling for genocide. Uh, I've been compared to everything from a fascist to a Maoist to a supporter of Westboro Baptist Church, which I don't even know what it is. <laughs> but basically, <laughs> uh, the entire spectrum of everything that's bad in the world uh, is being hurled my way. Absolutely. But also a lot of support. Are, like, I, it's are, are you surprised? I think you're on, I, I'm just guessing, but I think you're on the left. I don't think you're a right winger. I think you're from Norway. Are you surprised by all of this? Unfortunately, I'm not surprised because uh, this has been in the cards for a long time. If you can't talk about biological reality, uh, it's unavoidable. Yes. Uh, this is simply unavoidable. Um, but yeah, no, I... I I align myself with the, with radical feminism. Uh, I've been uh, yes. voting on the left all my life. Uh, now I'm much more critical to what they are actually saying, and it seems like, but it seems like all parties in Norway um, are supporting this pseudoscience. It's scary. We know the feeling. Thank you for joining us tonight, Christine Ellington. Very much appreciate it. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.